As it is known, though, if we progressive respiratory distress, the blood gas to go measured at 37 degrees Celsius is as follows: pH 7.3, PCO2 76.2, oxygen saturation 78, bicarbonate 35.1. So, what is your ABG interpretation? We will see one by one. So, pH is 7.3. The normal pH is 7.35 to 7.45, so it is a case of acidosis. Now PCO2 is 76.2, normal is 35 to 45, so more than 45, it is a case of respiratory acidosis. Now we have to see whether it is acute or chronic. In acute, the pH decreases by 0 0.08 for every 10 mm Hg increase in PCO2, so here the delta PCO2 is 36.2. So, if acute, the pH should decrease by 0.08 to 3.6, that is 1 to 8a. So, pH will be 7.17. In chronic, the pH decreases by 0.03 for every 10 mm Hg increase in PCO2. So, if chronic, pH decreases by 0.03 to 3.6, that is 0.10. So, pH will be around 7.3. So, here the pH is around 7.3. So, it is a case of chronic respiratory acidosis. You will see the bicarbonate value, it is 35.1, normally is 20 to 26. Now we have to see whether it is compensated or not. In chronic respiratory acidosis, we expect 3.5 mm per liter, mmol per liter increase in bicarbonate per 10 mm increase in PCO2. So delta PCO2 is 36.2 and for 13 mm mercury rise in PCO2, the mmol rise in bicarbonate, that is we expect 12.6 mm per rise in bicarbonate. So, we are expecting around 36.6. Here value is 35.1 which is in the compensation range. So, the ABG interpretation is it is a case of chronic respiratory acidosis. Now, we have to see the oxygen saturation. It is 78%. So, what is the cause of hypoxia? So, the PO2, the difference in the alveolar and the arterial PO2, that is 9.5. Normal is 5 to 10. So, it provides an assessment of alveolar capillary gas exchange. So, the cause of hypoxia it will be hypoventilation. So diagnosis it is a case of chronic respiratory acidosis and hypoxia is due to hypoventilation. 